Hello everybody, this is Chris, and for better or for worse, this is the Sentry 2 Level 4 Login and Registration Tutorial. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and set Laravel up and Sentry 2 up. I have already completed the Composer install uh, console command. So the only thing I need to do now is just update everything with uh, Sentry all the package stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is update composer.json uh, and we're just going to add in Jeffrey Ways generators and card list and I'm just going to copy this in from my other app and I'm just going to paste that in there. And it's just card list sentry and it's version 2.0. whatever and then wage generators, which is just Jeffrey Wage Generators, and then Dev Master. So I'm going to leave it up there for a few seconds so those who are following along can just copy that down. Um, and then we'll move on. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now I'm going to run Composer Update. So Composer Update. Now, just a word of caution. Do not try to do this all at once. Do not try to run Composer install and install Sentry and Wage Generators or any other packages. Let Laravel 4 install first and then go back and install your packages with the Composer update or else you'll have one hell of a headache. So that's just or otherwise if you're doing all that, if you're trying to do everything at once in the Composer install, don't do it. Uh, it just causes trouble. So I'm going to pause this while Composer takes its time updating and I'll be back. And with a Mr. Kultada, Composer is finished updating. Now we need to go ahead and add Sentry to our config. So we're just going to go into over here to config, then app roll down here to providers first and providers we're just going to add triple ways generators and card list so I'm just going to add these in here so here we have way generators generators service provider and then card list sentry, sentry service provider so I'll allow you all a few seconds to catch up with that Next we're going to move down to aliases. And here we're going to add two things. One we will we will be using and one I use I always add in. So the first one we're going to add in sentry so we can call it globally and we don't have to add this, you know, use sentry at the top of all of our controllers. Next we're going to call we're going to use carbon and add that in there so we don't have to call it globally. We're not going to use it in this tutorial but as I get further along in these tutorials with these users and stuff like that I may use it so that's why I'm going in. I'm going to go ahead and add it here next I'm going to control s to save it I'm going to go back out to my terminal now and now we have to run some console commands to get sentry working first off though need to go ahead and have a database so I have one set up already it's just a blank database I'll show you in a second just to log in here so I'm using this as my database so it has no tables in it whatsoever so that means we have to go in to here and go into database and give it our database name so my database name is Chris so I have that and I'll save it. Now we can go out to our terminal. The okay, first terminal command we're going to run is PHP artisan migrate great install. So that's going to install our migration table into our database. Next we're going to go ahead and run PHP artisan migrate package the equal sign and card list 
forward slash century. Okay. Now as you see it went ahead and migrated four tables. Uh, century install users, install groups, user groups, and throttle. Next we want to go ahead and can uh, on our package configuration. So we're just going to run PHP Artism config publish and it's going to still be car list century. Okay. Now we are all set up and ready to go with Sentry. In the next video we're going to go ahead and handle the login and the registration and I'll see you there.